The final game of the 2014 season would carry several storylines for the Louisiana College Wildcats, a senior class that had played in one of the more successful eras in school history, and this year having to play one of the toughest schedules ever in school history. The Wildcats knew if they would win this game against Harden Simmons, they would again finish with a winning season, and for the fourth time in five years, finish as the runner-up in the American Southwest Conference. Both teams fired up for what proved to be a very exciting ball game. Every single snap, every single second of this game is going to be all day, you understand me? Go get it, seniors. Leave it all out here. All day! Seniors, Mike, Joey, Russ, Bubba, May May, hey! Let's ball out, man! Sit them out right! Let's go! Let's go! Dogs on three! One, two, three! Go! 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 We're going to take that smile off their face. They want, hey, they came here to fight, but well, guess what? They don't know what they're here for. Emotions running high for this one, and understandably so. It's the final college football game for 18 Louisiana College seniors. It's time for one last photo together. As is the senior tradition for this game, every senior honored by getting a chance to run through a tunnel of the underclassmen before getting a chance to meet with their parents at midfield. Or in the case of Darian Clark, his brother and teammate Darius. For Kyle Gallion, a season that ended too quickly after the broken collarbone that he suffered at Wesley. But even in that situation, Gallion going out with a smile on his face. And perhaps the most special moment coming for senior defensive tackle Andrew Maddox, who spent two tours of duty in Iraq with the 2nd 108th Cavalry, getting a chance to see his wife and his daughter and present his little girl, who will be three next week, with a special little gift. Today, cherish every rep, cherish every collision, Cherish everything that takes place. Most of all, cherish that guy next to you. And I can promise you this, the memories are going to be greater than you can ever imagine. Bring him to the dungeon! Bring him to the dungeon! Bring him to the dungeon! Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Get up. Let's go. Get up, man. Let's go. Finally, the captains for this game, Gallion, Brewer, Jewett, and Porsche, making one last walk out to midfield. And it won't take long before another one of those seniors sets a new LC record. Harden Simmons' first possession, Weston Garner is picked off by Shaquille Lewis. For Shaq, that's career interception number 14 and moves him into first place past Kendall Rayford and Reggie Calhoun, who both had 13. Another record holder is senior place kicker Don Olivares, but after the Wildcat drive stalls, Harden Simmons blocking the field goal attempt, so there remains no score early on. After a defensive stop, the Cats getting it back. And this time another scoring possibility when Easton Melanson hooks up with Shed Davis. That's a 51-yard play that takes it down to the Harden Simmons 17. Dennis Dunn is known to throw a trick play in every once in a while, and he'll do that here. Melanson on the give to Farron Jones, the wide receiver throwing it back. Take a look at Melanson breaking tackles. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. It's a 17-yard scamper for the quarterback and the rushing touchdown that gives the Wildcats the 7-0 lead. Man, we've been working on that play all season. I kept trying to tell Coach Dunn that whenever he calls, you know, uh, I'll make sure I get in the end zone. And, uh, you know, it, it did. And uh, So maybe we'll start calling a bit more players like that. On a defense dominated by seniors this year, none has been as hot his last few games than linebacker Bo Brewer. Coming in, had 42 tackles in the last three games and would have a huge game in this one. And with the Wildcat defense especially fired up, Harden Simmons doing a good job in this game, 
of putting the Wildcats off balance with some screen plays effective, like this one to Bryce Johnson taking them deep into Wildcat territory. The Cowboys will cap an impressive 17-play, 84-yard drive that covers seven minutes when Trey Lewis takes the pass from Garner, and that is a nine-yard touchdown tying the game at seven with just a few seconds left in the first quarter. To the second quarter, and Harden-Simmons again starting out with a nice drive. This one covering 76 yards in eight plays, capped by Garner doing a great job to stay alive, and then somehow coming down with the football, Jimmy Simpson, Two Wildcats, Ira Jewett and Shaq Lewis, both there. Neither one of them could come up with it. And Harden Simmons roaring back to take a 14-7 lead. It's been a while since we've heard from the LC offense. Finally coming alive here, Melanson avoiding the sack. Nice job to get the ball to Farron Jones. And he splits the defenders. He'll take it 43 yards down to the Harden Simmons 19-yard line. With Devin Silva out of the game with a hand injury, Austin Carline getting the carry on this one, takes it in for the two-yard touchdown, and the Wildcats had tied it again at 14 with nine minutes left to go in the second quarter. For the rest of the half, the Wildcat defense really starting to tighten, and it's Darian Clark coming up with the sack and a little flex on top of it as Harden Simmons is forced to punt. Just over a minute left to go in the half, and the Wildcats moving the football. Melanson looking for the guy who's been his number one touchdown target, Ladarius Gardner. That's number 10. What a sensational junior year it's been for Gardner. And more importantly for the Wildcats, taking a 21-14 lead heading into the half. With temperatures only in the upper 40s to low 50s, kind of a cool day at Wildcat Stadium and kept the crowd kind of quiet most of the afternoon. But a little more to cheer about now. Facing a fourth down situation at the LC 34, Harden Simmons going for it. Bo Brewer stops them in their tracks. The big sack for Bo, who shows the emotion of playing on this senior day. The Wildcats looking to convert it into points when Melanson just kind of improvising, telling Shed Davis to go long, and Shed coming down with the catch. Beautiful play, completion of 47 yards to the Harden Simmons 10 yard line. The Wildcats will convert another guy getting the play with Silve being hurt is Oren Cooksey, starter much of the year, and looking good on that one as he takes it in for the two-yard blast. For Cooksey, the touchdown, putting the Wildcats up 28-14 to with four minutes left in the third quarter. Yeah, I mean, I feel like our offense had a lot, uh, very good pace today, very good tempo. Um, just, you know, those plays by buying time, and you that, you know, half a second more I can buy time, gives our receivers half a second more to get open, you know, so uh, that's just trying to do my job and get it to receivers. The Wildcats would shut out this powerful Harden Simmons offense the entire third quarter. Landon Henry coming up with the tackle from behind on that play. And meanwhile, the Wildcats back on offense. The big play as it's Ladarius Gardner from Melanson for 51 yards, touchdown number 11 for Ladarius. And the Wildcats threatening to blow this one wide open, leading 35 to 14 as we head into the fourth quarter. But don't relax yet, Wildcat fans. Starting the fourth quarter, Harden Simmons again on fourth and one. This time, different result. Kerry Sloan finds the open space and takes it 55 yards for the touchdown. Just like that, the sleeping giant might be waking up a little bit. Don't stop. Uh, Don't stop. Don't stop. continuing to establish himself as the leader of this team going into next year, but even his leadership can't prevent two straight sacks as Harden Simmons really fired up now, forcing the Wildcats to punt it back with the lead again at 14. So Harden Simmons with the ball looking to make something happen and draw even closer, but check out LaCorey Demise. Nice play by the sophomore to knock that one away and that'll force Harden Simmons to punt. At least they'll try to. C.J. Hawkins, as he's done so many times this year, blocking the punt. Shaq Lewis picks it up, and then a little finger roll. Looks pretty, but it'll draw a 15-yard flag. Even so, the Wildcats extending their lead to 42-21.
That 42nd point coming on the foot of Adon Oliveris, who extends his all-time point record at LC. That's number 264 for Adon, closing out his sensational career. More importantly for the Wildcats, they lead 42-21 with under seven minutes to go. I can't. He ain't got the bunnies. Everybody know I can do it. Everybody on the Wildcats sideline in a celebratory mood, but might want to hold off that celebration. Nobody's told Harden Simmons the game is over. Certainly not Garner and his target, Trey Lewis, who breaks away for this 65-yard touchdown score. It comes with 6.33 left in the game and pulls the Cowboys back to within 14 at 42-28. Ensuing possession for the Wildcats, not much better news. It'll be a three and out as Melanson is stacked up and the Wildcats will have to punt it away. Once again, Harden Simmons going to go with the deep ball. Can it happen again? It does. Lewis may have gotten away with pushing off. In any case, it's a 68-yard touchdown. And just like that, after being down 21, the Cowboys are back to within seven. It's 42-35. Hey, let's go. Put the ball in, so let's go. And so Melanson and the Wildcat offense hoping to at least get a first down to run some more clock, possibly even the rest of it. Let's get a push. Do it again, O-line. But they'll face a third down and one with a minute 46 left. Go toss left, okay? Hey, hey, hey. Coach Dunn looking for the perfect call. We're going to go 20 C. We're going to go brown left. I'm trying to catch him 15. H move, toss left. Here we go. It'll be a toss to the outside. Cooksey trying to get it to the outside, can't turn the corner. He'll be brought down for the loss. That means the Wildcats will punt away the football, giving Harden Simmons an opportunity to tie the game. That is if they can get past Bo Brewer and the Wildcat defense. Garner would finish the game passing for 397 yards and four touchdowns. But he was also sacked three times, two of them coming from Darian Clark. Maybe his finest game as a Wildcat when the Wildcats needed it most. Speaking of needing it most, Bo Brewer knocking down this pass, setting up a fourth down situation. The Wildcats one play away from hanging on to win and get second place in the ASC. All comes down to this. Grayson Pilot with Brewer coming in at the last second as well. And the Wildcats are going to hang on the defense rising up when it absolutely had to. Well, we knew they had to pass the ball. It was just a couple seconds left of the game, so we we would be deepened up a little bit and uh, just let everything play out in front of us and, and try to make a play. They came out four wide receivers, one running back, so we knew they were going to pass the ball. Um, I just got to my drop, you know, checked inside, checked outside, and he pretty much just threw it right in my chest. Hey, Grayson, Grayson, good job, buddy. Thank you. I really wanted that one for you, brother. Baby, why are you Good job, Good job, baby. I see you. Actually, there's one more play to go. This the mere formality. It's the victory formation. Melanson taking the snap. And Dennis Dunn and the LC Wildcats finish the 2014 season 6-4 and four in a great final game for Bo Brewer and the Wildcats. Then I got to go out with a win and uh, celebrate with my brothers afterwards. So. Yes, this was the most fitting, uh, fitting ending of the season I could think of. Um, it was a close game. We won by a touchdown, which I don't think we won by more than a touchdown very much this year. <laughs> so, and yeah, coming down to the defense was uh, it was a big deal because that's where that's where most of our seniors are. We lose a lot of guys, but we get a lot of, a lot of guys back. So, uh, just we're a wildcat <laughs> offense next year since you'd like to run so much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just getting that chemistry together back during the spring and the off season, the summer, and uh, trying to build out together and make sure we have a great season next year. Guys, I just want to say this. Again, I said it and said it all along. You seniors at two and four, I don't know of another senior class that I could have been prouder of to keep this ship steady with the schedule that we had played and be able to fight for four straight weeks and get four W's and end like you end. I'm going to tell you, we dedicated this season to Larry Jean, and I can promise you this, he's in heaven today saying I'm proud of my Wildcat. He was down looking at you guys. And seniors, again, I'm so proud of you. I can't say enough about you and what a legacy you've left. Young guys, you got a lot of shoes to fill. 
And here's what I believe. I believe the best is yet to come for Louisiana College football. That's what I believe. Thank you, seniors. God bless. Let's pray. I just think it'd be fitting right now if Ethan, you pray for us. Yes, sir. All right, Stand up, Ethan. Thank you. Lord. Just another game that you bless us with, God. Just, Lord, I thank you so much for this victory, God, that it's all for you, Lord. This family, this brotherhood, God, it's all for you, Lord. Just you. keep everyone safe tonight, God, just as we go about our business, Lord. Just let everything we say and do, God, just glorify you. Your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, we a family, man. Let's go. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Two. A six and four record may not have been the goal coming into the season for the LC Wildcats, but considering where they were just a few short weeks ago at two and four, for them to close out the season the way they did with four straight wins definitely shows a legacy to be seized on by the younger players. Fortunately for the Wildcats, they have plenty of those. With Easton Melanson and most of his receivers coming back next year, the Wildcats are poised to again make a lot of noise in the American. Southwest Conference. Thanks for a great 2014, everyone. For Wildcats Media and for D3Football.com, I'm Al Quartermont.